In the Maya 2013 version of Bonus Tools, we've completely updated the Auto Map Multiple Meshes tool. This tool was actually broken and kind of uh, useless in previous releases. Basically what it does is it allows you to automatically project a second UV set um, on a multiple object simultaneously. So if we take a single object, um, or rather take a couple of different objects, and we apply just a standard mapping using the Auto Map tool, automatic map. What that will do is it will give me a manipulator that will basically work on both of the objects, but it does not actually lay the created UV set out into the UV editor uh, separately. So what I'll end up with is overlapping UVs. So I have an auto map here and I have an auto map here. Additionally, by default, it creates uh, or overwrites the existing or active UV set. So what the bonus tool does is it basically allows you to use the auto map manipulator but to create separated and uh, and uniquely laid out uh, UVs in a new UV set for multiple objects. So if I grab all of these objects you'll see that each one has its own texture and each one has its own texture space so they're each filling the 0 to 1 space. I'm going to take all these objects and I'll apply the auto map multiple meshes that will create a single manipulator now spanning across all of these objects and the resulting UV shell the resulting UV shells will actually be separated out so this is dynamic if I start to move, move this manipulator whether it be scaling or whether it be rotating or positioning um, then I can actually go in and change kind of the proportional layout of these and if you take a look at the individual objects, what you can see here is now I have each individual object laid out into a separate part of the texture space. So this is a, a separate UV set that could be used uh, for something like a lap, light map most commonly. But it doesn't overwrite the original. If I right click and switch between my uh, UV sets, you can see here that in my UV set editor, I now have my map one, which contains my original UVs, and I have my auto map set which could be renamed to something like light maps if I needed it to. But for each one of these, it's laid out into its own kind of distinct space. Now, one thing to point out is after you apply this, you can get back to it just simply by selecting the manipulator that gets created. So you'll see here I have an auto map multiple meshes node. If I grab that, that actually allows me to re uh, activate or reaccess that manipulator. In order to actually see that though, I have to go into the shapes and click on the poly auto projection input node similar to working with something like an extrude this allows me to access the manipulator once again so that I can go in and begin to make changes to the manipulator uh, and actually see that update in the UV editor now what this is actually doing behind the scenes is it's creating another object as a kind of secondary projection so you do have to ultimately delete history if you wanted to remove this on the target objects uh, but by simply deleting history on the target objects you can bake in the UV projection and then remove the manipulator